Tonight, federal prosecutors are charging six Russian military officers with launching cyber attacks designed to interfere with international elections and the Olympics, as well as hitting companies and hospitals right here in the U.S. Now, the charges come two weeks before an election that national security experts worry could be targeted by foreign hackers. CBS's Jeff Begays has more on the investigation tonight from the Justice Department. The wanted poster of the six alleged Russian hackers says that they should be considered armed and dangerous. The crimes committed are truly breathtaking in their scope, scale, and impact. Prosecutors say they did a billion dollars in damage, hitting a Pennsylvania hospital system, a drug company, and causing chaos around the world. They turned off the lights in Ukraine. They disrupted the Olympic opening ceremonies. Now officials are worried that Russian hackers are targeting the U.S. election through ransomware, cyber bugs that can freeze computers and their data. Ransomware at this point is a national security issue. It happened in Placid LaSalle County, Illinois, where ransomware hackers froze all the county's data and left this electronic note. Your network have been penetrated, it read in bad English, and threatened loss of your data. What exactly did the ransom note say? To send, um, I believe it ended up being like $428,000 is what they wanted in Bitcoin. On average, two governments in the U.S. are hit every week. LaSalle County never did pay that ransom, but it is on high alert today with voting already underway there. DOJ's action today is widely seen as a warning to Russia. The message, stay out of the U.S. election. U.S. officials are guarding against hackers trying to disrupt the election. Nora. Jeff Begay's at the Justice Department. Thank you, Jeff.